So let's today speak about experienced hires and the challenges they are facing or many of the experienced hires are facing early in the application process and what is the implication and the consequence from this. So we're not focusing on what experienced hires need to do in the case interviews with regards to the problem solving um, skills, with regards to the communication skills, with regards to how they position in the fit and PI part of the interviews. This is covered elsewhere on this channel. So have a look and browse through the videos. But we're like, we are really covering the early stages. So the initial conversation with HR and then also the pretests. So with regards to the initial conversation with HR, a lot of experienced hires underestimate the importance because there can be two, two things, two big things can happen in these initial conversations. First, um, there is already an assignment of a certain seniority level you will go in the process um, for. And second, the decision if you are rather a consultant role or rather an expert role might be taken right and you can influence both of what i have just discussed heavily if you prepare your positioning with regards to what you are bringing to these consultancies and where there is a match and what you are um, shedding light up on in your past and how you're verbalizing your achievements so you can influence heavily what the seniority level will be that you will be assigned to and also what the role is, what kind of a role is a match for you and your profile. And most experienced hires just go into these conversations blindly and then they are surprised in the end by the result because there's a huge path dependency um, on what will be discussed in these conversations and what will happen next in your process. Um, and that is something that is completely unnecessary because you can very well prepare yourself. You will need, you might need some help there with regards to the positioning. Yes, but um, this is usually not much, and then you will be able to to do to do good in these conversations and um, yeah, be speak on eye level with them and don't get talked into taking your interviews in two weeks time because you will not be able to prepare adequately in that timeline, right? So make sure you already have some information on what is going to happen in this conversation and that you are very well prepared to have to use this and already to set the direction in which you would like to go later on um, throughout this interview process. So that's number one. And number two, please, please, please don't underestimate the pretests. So the pretests, they are very standardized and you can use standardized resources to practice for them, right? Um, so we always have a set of, of recommended resources we, we tell our mentees to use and there are numerous ones. Um, and the, 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 the whole idea here is you don't need any coaching, you don't need any senior input for mastering the pretest. These are very standardized tests, right? All what you need to do is putting in the time and the effort to do well. So practice with a standardized preparation material. There is no need for any type of coaching for you but put in the time and the effort and the focus to do it. Because what we are seeing a lot is that experienced hires are underestimating um, the, the time that it needs to score adequately on these pretests, and then they are not invited later on for the job interviews or they're getting the feedback that the pretests were miserable. Um, and this is so unnecessary because um, it's usually not even in intellectually challenging tasks to make them work because again they are completely standardized so you can also practice like for an exam as you did in university right so that's the opposite of what you will need to show in the case interviews because in the case interviews they are not as standardized actually they are not standardized at all in uh, from many perspectives because the interviewer can ask you essentially any possible question they are they could think of or they have experience in their previous uh, consulting life okay so these two things are crucially important first make sure you clearly know how you will position yourself in order to you um, not find yourself in a position later on that is hard if at all to change and second don't underestimate 
the time you will need to prepare for the pretest. Again, it's not intellectual challenging. You can use standard material, but you will need to put in the hours. So don't under expect this and then you will be totally fine. And then you can um, essentially solve the biggest challenge on, on, on the way. And that is mastering the case interview and the PI on fit part later on, because here as an experienced hires, hire, you will also need to show a very different uh, perspective and a plan going forward and ambition and vision as uh, it is expected from a graduate. But that should be clear to you anyways. And again, there are numerous videos on this channel that um, give you a little bit of guidance here. So let's go.